Yo, what's up YouTube? It's the Master Gamer bringing you a brand new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you which players you're gonna wanna get from doing the Gauntlet uh, 40, level 40 solo challenges. So you get two options, so we're gonna break them down here. I got them pulled up on my head right now. So the options are this 89 overall Lamar Miller, Roger Saffold, Cameron Hayward, Jason Kelsey, well, and this Brian Arakbo. Going over it real quick, Lamar Miller. Lamar Miller is definitely one that you want to get, unless you got the LaShawn McCoy in the last version. So we got a cat interrupting everything, but we're going to pretty much ignore that. So as you can see, 89 speed, which is one of the faster running backs in the game, outside of like Barry Sanders, is 90 juke, 89 spin, so he meets the spin, spin threshold. He has good elusiveness, 85 break tackle, that's not bad for running backs right now. And then decent catching stats. Not special, but not terrible either. So he's just a very good card. If I remember right, he also has fights for extra yards. He does, brace for all hits, high motor, discipline. Also, if you want to see, drops open passes, no. Again, for the most part, pretty much all good stats. 92 agility, that's very good. Uh, he's, he, overall, he's just going to be a very good running back. So if you don't have a running back, or you're looking for a running back to upgrade, this is definitely that running back. However, if not, there's still a couple good options. The next player that I think is definitely worth getting is this Roger Saffold. 93 run block is one of the highest run blocks in the entire game right now. So just that alone is huge. He's just going to be able to bulldoze on the O-line, and that's pretty important. He's definitely a card that I would try and go after. Whether you don't have an O-line fully set up, or you're looking to improve your O-line, he's definitely a very good option. And really, most of these cards are solid options, so it's hard to really go wrong. It's really dependent on what you need. Uh, the next card, Cameron Hayward. Again, 92 power move is very good right now. That's near the high end, especially for a 3-4 style defensive end. 87 strength, also very good. 91 hit power, so that's it's got some pop to it. 88 block shed, all good. 90 tackle, he's not going to really lose tackles. Just a very good item overall. I mean, there's not really too much to be said. Again, need to deal on Maybe if you grab the Bosa, you have at the end opposite Bosa to put on the field and Cameron Hayward. Uh, very good card overall. Uh, pretty much all these cards so far, the Lamar Miller, the Roger Saffold, and the Cameron Hayward have all been very good at what they do. Uh, moving on, we have Jason Kelsey. So this is the first of the two cards that I wouldn't get, and there's only one reason. So, obviously 92 run block is great. All these stats are great. The reason why I wouldn't get Jason Kelsey is because of his power-up card. Personally, so because this card is net, what I would choose to do is I would go through his power-up, and then I think, I don't actually have it on me, but I'm fairly confident the power up to upgrade this Jason Kelsey is going to be somewhere around 700, maybe closer to 1200. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, if I could pull it up here, I will, but I don't think I'm going to be able to because power up is going for 20k right now. And I thought I had it in my, thought I had it in my binder, didn't. So we're going to, going to have to miss that one, but you can choose to upgrade your Jason Kelsey power up and then pretty much get this card as opposed to getting the nat version that's not even the best version so i would personally choose to do that and then get another two probably the roger probably the uh cameron hayward and the lamar miller those are my top two so unless you already have a running back so that's the one stipulation you already have that lashawn mccoy who can spin just don't take lamar miller otherwise the running back isn't that you can't spin lamar miller is a perfect option I would definitely take him and Cameron Hayward. The last card is this Brian Arakpo. He just doesn't do it. 88 strength is solid. 89 power move is solid. 76 zone coverage is like depressing how it's just not at 80. Like it's right there, but it's not there. If it was at, if this card got to 78 zone or even 77 zone, I would consider it. But 76, he doesn't play good enough zone to be like, man, this card separates himself. If he did, he'd be a very nice item. But because he doesn't get to that 80 zone through lockdown, um, it's hard to see anyone grabbing this card. That being said, maybe you have the Coach Madden. Maybe you use Titans Team Training, to where you can actually boost his zone through those. Go ahead, I do think if you can get him to the 80 zone, he is very good. But if your team isn't built around that, then you're not really gonna be able to do that. So, mm. He is a very good hybrid linebacker though, if you are able to get him to 80 zone. 
in an ideal world, I would probably pick Lamar Miller and the Arakpo if you get him to zone. If you can't, then the Cameron Hayward. And just real quick, I wanted to mention this Telvin Smith MasterCard. If you're wondering whether or not to actually do that card or do the set for the players, first time I would pretty much recommend doing this to everybody. 85 speed is one of the highest for linebacker right now. Uh, 81 zone, so he gets the, he gets the zone you want. 91 block shed, 87 hit power, 90 tackle, 93 play rec. You already know he's gonna have good catching stats. Play ball aggressive, like everything you want to see in a linebacker. This card has even some finesse moves. So if he's blitzing, he isn't like complete just like eh, guy out there. I would recommend getting this card before you start trading in the uh, your tokens for 88 to 90 players, I believe it is. So there you go. If you guys have any questions, ask them down below. If you want to know whether or not you should be doing that Mahomes, I might have a video in the future coming up about that. But that being said, I hope this video helped you out. It's been the Master Gamer, and I'm out.